where is he? <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Don't ask what we were doing there. No idea what Trying something different, trying something new. Trying to be clever. But um, <laughs> yes, welcome back and welcome back to Northern Portugal. Now, look at this weather, it's absolutely gorgeous and you wouldn't think that we've just had days and days of rain, would you? We've had the November rain, so hopefully things are going to get better and it's looking pretty good at the moment. Yes, yeah, so we're parked up in a beautiful location right on the Douro River and just over the other side there is Spain and we're here in Portugal. Which well, is we've actually cool. visited Spain already. We got the sup boards out. So when we got down here it was dead smooth. Beautiful scenery. You can just see either way down this river with like huge hills going up. Um, we explored the, the cliffs before looking down onto it and now we've got up on the river so close um, and personal we've been yeah. in the river we've got over the other side okay <laughs> days go it's on papa on papa's board to papa. go on. good boy good, good boy. boy right there we go right now charlie charlie on the board on you get come on. on you get then quick come on. good boys right let me see how graceful i can be <laughs> You're waiting for her to fall in, aren't you? She's not even getting her shoes wet. Oh, oh she's facing backwards. Uh, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you I've had been... to question yourself, though, didn't you? Have you noticed, guys? I've bought my umbrella. I mean, who. <laughs> <laughs> Prepared for everything. Prepared for everything. Always. Really cool. So now we're in Spain. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. And that is España. Dogs are absolutely loving it. Living the dream, eh, boys? Hey, Charlie. Yeah. Any duckies? So yeah, um, pretty nice spot. The dogs are in their element. As soon as we pump up the boards, they know what's going on. They get all excited and then you so put the excited. life jackets on and so, that's it. Charlie so, was just so out cute. of control. It's so sweet. And he just gets so excited. It's so, so cute. Yeah, so I mean, we're just so happy to just have sunshine and a brilliant park up and, uh, and just kind of back on track. It feels like it's back on track today after a few days of bad weather. I'm not going to try and attempt to pronounce the name of this little town where we are because I'll just destroy it. So I'll put the name up here. And we actually stayed in this area for um, four or five days because of the bad weather and we found a motorhome stop in the town. We actually stumbled upon this place when there was a break in the rain. We need to get out for some exercise and we really wanted to get down to see the, see the river, see if we get down to it. So it was about a 10 kilometer hike that we did yesterday to get down and have a little explore. Oh, it's quite nice, isn't it? Good boy, Charlie. Check that out. How retro is that? Uh oh.
Yeah, it's a fantastic little spot. There's loads of picnic benches around. So sort of like the, the grassy area so people in the summer can just chill out and go for a swim. There's loads of little jetties so you can jump in. There's actually showers, cold showers, but I'm not going to complain. It's freezing! And toilets, so it's a fantastic little spot. Well, I need to make a coffee and Sarah's doing something for lunch. Let's find out what she's doing. Yes, we're having a little picnic outside. Put that knife down. And we're going to enjoy the weather as much as we can. And uh, it's still, oh, it's getting a bit cloudy. It is getting a bit cloudy. So we're having um, beet burgers today. And I did like a big batch of burger meat yesterday. Vegan burger meat, not like burger burger. So there's the the uh, the beetroot. But this stuff looks and smells uncannily. I don't know how, but yeah. it smells like real burgers. It's really yummy. So it's good to do a batch, isn't it? Because I mean, we, we always say this, we do love having burgers in the van. If you do it in the Ridge Monkey, you don't need any oil either. So extra healthy. And look at those. I mean, they look absolutely divine. Mm. So anyway, we're having those. We've got a little bit of a garnish salad and some rice to go with it. And then we're gonna go out there and enjoy that. The days are so um, short here. Now we're on like UK time because the time goes back an hour in Portugal. And then, so it's sort of getting dark at half past five, six o'clock, isn't it? Mm. So, um, so you don't get much. So now it's like half past two. I think, well, it's gonna start getting dark in a couple of hours. So we and we've got to get supplies from town, and I think we are going to head Babe. back into the town. Dizzy's trying to get Spanish Charlie's treats. duck fillets. Back into the town and sleep there tonight because we need to go to the supermarket. Look at these. Look at that. I mean, it's like ninety percent, ninety percent duck. So these two absolutely love. If them, I ate duck, I'd be nibbling on that. It's like beef jerky, but obviously duck. Right, so we, here you go, boys. Ooh. Oh, gosh, making a mess. Two little munchkins would follow. <laughs> there we go, love. Voila! Lunch. Perfect. With a view. The sun's in my eyes, but this, I actually feel like I'm living the dream now as I lay here in Nick's lap with the sun beating down on me after a delicious lunch and an amazing view of this beautiful river. The dogs are just, I don't know, calm and living the dream. It's one of those moments you get every now and then, you know, when everything just, everything aligns and it's, you know, the sun's, the sun's warmth, the dogs are behaving themselves, beautiful location. Yeah. And they're just the breath. calm, the yeah. quiet, the, the little autumn yellow, Bits. I don't know. Just simple. I think these Everything. moments are simple things, you know, yeah. yeah. It's just peace, inner peace, peace. Inner peace. Feeling completely content with mm. your surroundings and and everything else. And and that's that's good, isn't it? Because how the world is at the moment, obviously there is days, believe it or not, we're not happy the whole time. We do get stressed like um <clears throat> like everyone else. And uh during these uncertain times it is stressful so it's nice to have yeah. these moments keep searching keep finding the little happy moments and keep grabbing them grabbing them wherever grabbing. they are doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it's just a packet of biscuits a packet of biscuits no i'm joking yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just keep those happy moments and cherish them mm. and then continue to try and find each one and try not to worry and stress too much about the craziness that's happening in the world it's getting anyway, a bit deep this though isn't it a bit deep. let's, have let's cut to some cute dogs <laughs> Good morning.
morning folks and um, here we are at our little motorhome stop where we spent the last couple of days due to the bad weather as we mentioned yesterday and um, it's a little bit noisy because there's a little black dog barking doing what he does best in the background there and um, yeah so this area is kind of like a, um, a stadium type area there's a big tent over there that they use for events. There's a football field just this side and the motorhomes where you can park up is over there, which is a dedicated motorhome stop. Uh, it's got all the facilities for free. <laughs> including an electric um, electricity hookup, water, grey water, black water. So it's obviously very good for, for motorhomers. And um, yeah, so we've been here a couple of nights and Nick is loving it because he can go on his longboard. have some fun on these uh, on this flat area and yes so so this this is us and uh, I think today we will be moving on because after three or four days here it's more than enough for us we don't usually stay at places like this as you probably know we stay in the wild and things but it has been nice to sort of top up our batteries and just sort of have a chill time in the van isn't it Charlie ready Steady. Go. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's uh, looking very, very grey today. It was forecast to be a lovely blue sky day, but obviously it's not. But um, I think we are going to move on south when we can tear Nick away from his. Hi, oh, Johnny. Whee. I actually do worry quite a lot when Nick goes on his longboard. I'm thinking, oh God, is he going to fall off and break his leg? But uh, yeah, I think I need to get him some of those, uh, what do you call it? Arm bands, not arm bands, um, pads, arm pads, elbow pads, knee pads, helmet. Get him all that for Christmas. <laughs> Good morning guys, or good afternoon, or good evening. Depending on where you are in the world. Yes. <laughs> so we are quite happy now. We've left that um, motorhome stop where we spent far too long really because of the bad weather. And we're somewhere new, exciting, and the sun is shining. Yes, we're at a little place called... Castello Rodrigo. Now I must have pronounced that correctly. Yeah, we'll just put it here anyways. <laughs> so we're at the little castle on top of the hill here where there's also a little village. Amazing views down to the town and this has been a perfect little park up for us. Yeah, beautiful views. You can, we haven't actually travelled that far. We've only driven for about an hour or an hour and a half in Vinny, but you can actually see where we were before the national park. You can just see these big sort of mountains and the gorge rising up out the flatness, out the flat plains. Yeah, yeah it's really, really cool. It's really, really nice area. Um, we are about to go and have a little explore up by the castle. We arrived here last night and uh, we just had a sort of day of chilling out. We did have to pop down to the town to do a little bit of laundry. And what day is it, darling? It is laundry and sweepy day. Jolly, jolly. There, jelly, 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 big, big, big. <laughs> Laundry and sweepy day. Our favourite day of the month. No, sweepy day is actually every day. Laundry day is probably only about once a month, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. once a month these <laughs> days. But you've got to give it a good old fashioned sweep if you get all the rugs in the laundry so the van smells totally fresh so you make got to make sure the rest of it's clean if there was a hoover a vacuum at this fuel station we would vacuum but there isn't but anyway yes laundry day and here in portugal we've probably mentioned this in a previous vlog 
they have washing machines outside certain supermarkets. The supermarket is Intermarché. So it's really good, isn't it? It's yeah. really handy. Really handy when you want to do your laundry. Washing machine. <laughs> and here they've got a big one that we can fit the whole van in, basically, or the contents of the van. Won't be driving Vinny into the washing machine. And um, and yeah, so it's really good. And then we just went and got our groceries while we wait for the, for the laundry. So uh, as you can see, the van is absolutely trashed. And if you and if you no, don't recognise these clothes I'm wearing, it's because I've never worn them. These are the these are my you know like you get dressed up for things. This is my laundry day outfit because I don't wear them unless I've used up all my other clothes. You actually look very very smart. My hiking gear. Hiking gear, and he bought these. It's got some new boots which are like really warm boots. Oh. Look at those. <laughs> which are really warm boots that we got because we were going back to the UK and it didn't happen, but he's still got them now and it's still, still gonna, I'm gonna wear them now before we get back down to Andalusia. Yes. Before it's too hot. So we're really excited because we love laundry day and the reason why we love it is because the van smells all lovely and fresh afterwards. You know, you get a fresh bed and you get just fresh everything. So it's lovely. Not like we smell in here at all. I don't think we do, but yeah, you know what I mean. Come here, 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 so it's chapter two. It's like a new, new, you know, a little break to um, to charge our batteries and to hide away from the rain. And now it's yeah, yeah. setting off again on yeah. the road. And the restrictions we think are still kind of the same here in Portugal as what we were talked about in the last vlog. So you know we're still okay traveling through, and we're still sort of en route down towards Andalusia. So oh, okay. I mean it's it's so confusing, isn't it? It's everywhere in all the countries. It's so confusing with different things, different restrictions in different areas. It's really hard to keep up, isn't it? Mm. So um, we'll just carry on doing what we're doing. But anyway, let's go and check out the little village on the hill. See, Nick and I always get excited about really nice public toilets, and Portugal has a lot of them. Oh, did you need to go? temperature check first time I've actually had my temperature check um, we're allowed in now my temperature was 35 point something Nick's was void I'm actually dead there was no no temperature I was too cold so yeah <laughs> you did it several times the machine doesn't work if you're cold so anyway <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty old, this castle. We've just read that it was founded in um, the 6th century. So that's pretty old. And uh, as usual, when Nick and I visit a lot of places, it's absolutely dead. There's no one here. There's no one at all in the little village. There's no one at all in the castle. The only person we've seen is the lady who tried to take both of our temperatures. It's as dead as I am according to my temperature reading. <laughs> Yeah, the views from the top of this castle are incredible. You've got proper 360 degree view all around because it's quite flat. 360 degree is all around. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't get more all around than 360. No, Gosh. that's everywhere. 
Um, so basically you can see everywhere. Don't you think it feels like we're not supposed to be here? Yeah. Sometimes it's like that, isn't it? When there's no one else here, it's like, are we supposed to be here? But we are because the lady said, go on through. But, um, but yeah, it's amazing. I love these castles and you picture how, how life used to be and yeah. people living in here and you've got all these little sections and the ramparts that go all the way around, obviously. It's what ramparts do. Yeah. But all these different yeah, little rooms and things and built into the rocks as well. Yeah. So you've got the rocks and then a little bit of wall and stuff. Isn't Very it? nice. Worth a stop off. Mm. There he is. Oh, hello, hello, little ones. Hello, 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 hello. hello. We've literally been gone, what, about 20 minutes? And they're just so excited all the time. Yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't have been able to take your temperature. I don't know if you would have been allowed to go in the castle, little one. Hey. <laughs> Another really good thing about this stop is we've got a little water fountain tap thing here, right by our park up. So guys, we were gonna leave this area and move on to our next destination, but it's getting late, isn't it? We've probably only got about an hour. It feels like we've only got about an hour left of uh, daylight. So I think we'll just pitch up here for another night by the castle. Uh, we'll take the boys for a little walk now and then get cozy, get that heater on and get some food. Yes. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you next time. Take care and be safe. I was going to show what we're having for our meal. Oh, it's not going to last long enough. <laughs> not gonna, I'm so starving. <laughs> okay, we'll show you that in a minute. Yeah, Nick was right. We did eat our food too quickly, completely forgot to film and then just realised after, oh, we were going to film doing our meal. Anyway, we didn't. So that's it. That's the end of the vlog. Oh, we have got these. Do you know what those are? Has anyone ever had those? Those, which are these, which we have a lot in Spain and Portugal. Um, don't know what, what they actually called. Do you or don't you eat them with the skins on though? You don't eat them with the skins on. See, you, you're supposed to eat them. Um, I mean, oh, rubbish. You're supposed to put the skin out. Nick and I, don't bother doing that because we think they're nice with the crunchy skin and any Spanish people watching or anyone who eats these watching they're probably going to be like no you can't eat them like that but well, we also like put a little bit of soy sauce and garlic and coriander so anyway um I guess that's the end of the vlog now um, it's really toasty the van as you can see just down to vest tops after having the heater on but that's it so guys thank you so much for watching and we will see you really soon in the next vlog please can you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already it's easy and it's free and it really helps us and give us a thumbs up and that's it bye <laughs> you breathe yourself <laughs> Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> so. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It's a well good shot. <laughs> well good. Oh my god. Hold on. Look at that. It's still freezing though, it's still freezing.